Joyce, welcome back to another video. For today's video, as read by the title, it is going to be exposing the racism at Beatrice Delage. Woo! It's yeah. about damn time. It's a this school deserves to be called out for all the insane problematic issues that are still happening, literally. And we'll tell you why we, me and my sister, think that this school should be demolished, seriously. Yeah, I literally have no idea why this school is still present. <laughs> Because, I mean, as you guys are going to see in the video, um, we're going to talk about, like, one of their, like, most recent controversies. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, just, Beatrice uh, Delage, we are calling you out. Before we dive into this video, the first thing we're going to say is we're going to talk about racism a lot in this video, okay? We're going to talk about our personal experiences and how we grew from these experiences, how we learned and literally it, it, it's going to be really heavy and serious so obviously no disrespectful comments on that this is not news like it's really serious it's not a joke and seriously. we're uploading this on black history month so if there's like one disrespectful comment especially i know it's probably going to be from a white person because that's we usually get that a lot yeah. you're just gonna get blocked we don't have time this video is not only for educational purposes mm -hmm. but we want to finally speak about our speak about our experiences and there's no reason to invalidate anybody especially black people there's no reason literally if you are white and you're watching this video you cannot be watching this video to shade to make it about you when it's really not about you okay it's only for educational purposes we're not going to do this because we want to shade on people or whatever exactly. even though yes they do deserve the shade the racist people um but no we're doing this for educational purposes for one so if we see one racist disrespectful comments we are going to block and report you, you on youtube be... Blah. Uh, the second thing that we're going to talk about quickly is the people that we're going to talk about. We're not going to be listing names. We're not going to call out by name. We're going to, you know, keep it shut. Like, not out of respect for you guys. Oh, no. We have absolutely no respect for you guys. Mm -hmm. The ones that we're going to call out for being racist. We're not doing that for you guys. Yeah. We're doing that because we just don't want a to lot give of them like, cloud. Yeah. And, like they honestly, don't deserve to be shouted out on our channel like their name we have called them out so we've called them out on our instagram so if you want to see our posts and everything like you can check our instagram um bio and it's in our highlights and racism highlights even with that i still don't want you to harass them or send them any threats whatsoever again this is for educational purposes mm -hmm. so please don't send them threats if you want to call them out for being racist good that's a good thing they deserve it if you guys are new to this channel hello my name is joyce i do makeup looks reactions reviews on tv shows movies plot lines characters and song covers and if you stay on my channel you will not regret one, one single second also subscribe to her channel she does amazing content on her channel practically similar to mine i but... should upload more i'm sorry <laughs> so without further ado let's get on with we're gonna this. start from the beginning and how me and my sister were like you know we started to hear about the word racism but it didn't go into full effect the atres de was founded in 1997 it's been standing since i'd rather not dive into the history because honestly this school had such a negative impact on my life and that, on my sister's like, life. We really don't care. About that we don't care about the history. We don't care. If you want to look it up, go on the internet. That's and all plus, the, the racist white people at that school made it clear that they didn't care about our oh, history yeah. too. So they didn't care. Why should we care about the legacy that is that racist school? Ooh, ooh, no. ooh. Oh! That school has been known for a lot of controversial issues recently that school was called out for their enforced dress code on the girls it happened in may of i think 2022 i remember i think i saw this post about how it wasn't fair and that like these people were protesting which honestly i was i, I was really glad they were because i'm like yo that school is fucked up seriously so many shit 
has happened. And even I remember when me and my sister, we would go to, to that school, there were a lot of people calling in for bomb threats. And I remember there were lockdowns and even, I think it was on our graduation day. Mm -hmm. Like they had to push the date of our graduation date because, oh, yeah, somebody, because there was a threat or there something. There was somebody called in for a, a bomb threat. And I remember there were apparently a bunch of police officers standing in front of that school. So we're not lying when we're saying that school is very, very controversial. There was also a lot of sexual harassment in that school as well. I remember there was this one time I was drinking from a water fountain and this white guy, I saw him like running away. This white guy came out of nowhere. He thrusted me and grabbed my, my butt and that started thrusting me like this. And then I turned away and I was so shocked and he just ran away with this like brown hair oh my gosh yeah that just... school is just really disgusting the only subject that was never brought up never talked about was the racism oh and me God. and my sister unlike them we're going to be bold enough to speak about it and to talk about our experiences i'm going to start first and then my sister's going to go so... i'm gonna try not to cry because it's gonna be so hard for me not to cry but i Again, this video is to sort of share my experiences mm -hmm. and I kind of like, you know, you know, started like seeking therapy and a lot's been helping for me and my sister. Yeah. So we are doing okay, but just bear with me. When I started first going into that school in seventh grade, I remember there was this one white girl who had brown hair. She was like, I think she came a little later or I think she was also like freshly new. Or I don't remember exactly. She was the first person that I made, ended up making friends with who was white. She was the first girl. I was also her first friend and we were really, really good friends. And I remember I, she started hanging out with this other white guy who had, um, I think brown, blonde hair. I'm not gonna name him too. And then what happened is that the more she started hanging out with him, the more she stopped talking to me. Like she did not want to acknowledge my presence. Like. She was saying how much of a good friend I was, how I was her best friend, and I was saying the same thing too. I was nothing but nice to this girl. And then she didn't give me a reason. She didn't tell me, oh, Joyce, I just don't think we can be friends because of that. So till this day, I still don't know the reason why she completely ditched me, but I was always wondering, is it because I'm black? The fact that a seventh grader has to ask themselves that question at, in seventh grade, shows you how disgusting and appalling that school is because I was in seventh grade and already the first racial incident happened with her. I didn't understand racism. I didn't understand what it was. So I honestly, like, I didn't understand why she wasn't friends with me during that time. So I just started hanging out with my black girlfriends more and she just started, you know, dating a bunch of people and completely ignoring my presence. So that was the first time where I was like, okay, I mean, I felt like it was a little unfair, but you know what? It, it probably, maybe she just, you know, didn't want to. Maybe I did something and she just doesn't want to tell me. It is what it is. I don't really care. So there was that. Yeah. In ninth grade, I did, I did still see some signs of racism, but yet I didn't want to let it affect me because a lot of people, especially whites that went to our school would tell me, oh, if I was you, I would just let it go. Like, it's not that much of a big deal. Like if I was you, I wouldn't like think about that. Oh, try to understand from their side of you. And I was just like, okay, maybe I should let it go. Maybe I'm making a big deal out of nothing. When I started going into ninth grade. Um, a lot of people were saying a lot of rumors about me and my twin sister, especially after, well, that's going to be her story to tell about mm -hmm. this one guy that she crushed on and bullied her since like from the ninth to the 12th grade. A lot of this, the, the racism started unfolding when there were a bunch of guys that previously went to Beatrice Lodge, but I think in the eighth grade, they moved to another school and then they came back. And there was this another white guy who also came in and he was also new and him and one other, another one of his friends, both of them are blondes. They would oh pick on God. me and my sister a lot. Their goal was literally to make us mad. I kid you not. Like every single time they would try to gaslight us and say stuff like, oh my God, Joy, <laughs> they would tease us. They would insult our hair. They would grab our hair sometimes out of nowhere. I remember me and my sister went, we were in the same gym class as them. 
And these white boys did not leave us the hell alone. Yeah, Even when me and my twin sister would tell them, leave us alone, leave us alone. Like, stop it. We don't want you near us. They didn't care. They really enjoyed making us suffer. They yeah. really enjoyed like seeing us like clapping back they wanted to see our reaction they wanted us to clap back at them clap back at them that's yeah, why, why they kept poking us that's why they kept um bullying us that's why they kept calling us by names and yeah. the worst part is when they would say the n-word them a bunch other of their white racist friends too oh my god now as an adult thinking about it it's like that's how bad it was but yet during that time, I did not understand what racism was. And I mean, most of them have compared me to a monkey. One time I was in my history class and we ended up watching, I think, a documentary. And then at one clip, they showed a bunch of like monkeys. And this guy, one of the guys that was picking on me and my sister in that gym class, I told you, he straight up said in front of the whole class, oh, Joyce, look, that looks like you. And mind you, I was the only black person in that class. And everybody was like, oh, I knew it hit me. I knew it had something to do with like probably how filthy or how disgusting I was in his eyes. But then I clapped back and I said, well, at least I don't have huge eyes like you. <laughs> and that's when he didn't say anything. Now, looking back, obviously, that's not a good thing to say. You shouldn't insult anybody in any circumstance. But in this case, I, do, I don't feel bad because he does deserve it. What he said was racist. He literally compared me to a monkey in front of everybody. It's just so disgusting. I just want to like quickly jump in because I don't even want to talk about him when I'm going to be... It's going to be my turn to talk. Yeah. But he also called me a monkey a couple times. Mm -hmm. And I just... Ugh. During um, the uh, Black Lives Matter movement in 2020, I remember that he would like say like, he would say that he like supports black people and he was like one of the racist ones that would like post like black squares. Yeah, and shit literally. Like I saw that like so much. I mean, I would see him and a several other of his white friends that would post, oh, you need to support Black Lives Matter. Donate, to, donate this to this place. And I was like, y'all are a bunch of racist hypocrites because how can you sit there and say that you support Black Lives Matter when you treated me, my sister, and come to find out later when we expose those people, several black people like that too. Exactly. I just, how can you claim to say that you support black people? And please, if like, especially when I hear, oh, but I have black friends and they don't think that. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they don't think that you weren't racist. We are also black, okay? We think that you disrespected us. So, hello, apologize. we're yeah. black. The amount of times that the white, the racist white folks told us that we were whitewashing and oh that my we God. were not truly black and that we were white. Especially that one guy that me and my sister are going to talk about, like later in the video, the one who sexually harassed me a lot. The we're going to talk black. about him a lot in, later in this video. Finishing with another experience that was very damaging to me was I was in my science class in the 10th grade. Oh and my oh my God, this so bitch. I will always remember this for the rest of my life. That white teacher was talking about how it was dangerous to stay in the sun too long because if you stay in the sun too long, you're going to get like like bad tan. I was the only black person in the class and she said, yeah, you don't want to stay in the sun too long because if you stay in the sun too long, then you're going to end up like, and she paused like this. She was like, and you're going to end up like uh, Joyce. And everybody looked at me and I was like, huh, what? And then she said, Oh yeah, I hope you don't mind. I used you as an example, but you're not going to take it like that, are you? Like, you're fine with that, right? And I was like, uh, yeah, I didn't understand what racism was during that time. And everybody, I remember one of the guys that was picking on me and my sister in that gym class um, ended up talking to me. Another one of my classes and it was, was like, oh, what she did was racist. So that means that they knew, they knew How about the racism. How ironic that that same white asshole said oh that was racist you should probably do something about it but i didn't understand so i was just like oh yeah 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 that was racist oh my god I looking back i wish i would have done something about it because if i knew what racism was if i really understood what it was i would have exposed all of these people and i would have not stopped until they apologized for being racist yeah, really the teacher i 
I heard that she used black people as an example to show that, oh, if you tan too much, you're gonna look like, like them. them. So as if being yeah. black is such is a bad thing, like it's such a disgusting thing when no it's not. Yeah. We have the dark melanin, we have we have rich skin, okay? So you're not going to degrade us and make us feel like being black is wrong when if you don't know what it means to be black, not just from the exterior, but everything that you go through, shut the fuck up and sit down. That's what I wanted to say about my experience. This one person I'm gonna deep dive into, me and my sister are gonna deep dive into that through the end because yes, he affected both of us, but me mostly. Um, but I wanted my sister to talk about her experiences as well. As I said in the beginning of the video, this is obviously going to be hard for me to talk about. So if I take a couple of like deep breaths, it's because I'm actually shaking right now. So <laughs> at least out here. I just wanted to like point out a lot of things that as a student and as like someone that was going to that school, I noticed a lot. But I'm also going to talk about like stuff that the racism experience that I um, endured at that school. So I'm gonna say that in seventh grade and in eighth grade, I don't think I've, I've endured it. Like I don't think, or if I did, I didn't see it. I just wanna say one, this one thing I forgot. By the way, we literally have spoken about this to a lot of our principals and they've also invalidated us and told us, but if I was you, I wouldn't take it like that. Like it's not a big deal. Like. You know, if he bullies you, it happens. High school is rough. High school is rough. When it came to white people that complained to their principal about, oh, that person bullied me. Oh, that person did this. They dropped everything and they said, you know what? We're not going to stop until that person goes away. We're going to make sure that you feel safe. But you couldn't do that for black people. And that's why most of the black students that went to Beatrice de Lage moved to school. We're not lying about any of this. Oh my God. Like, yeah, we they've are. all reached out to us. Most mm -hmm. of them have reached out to us afterwards and have said, you guys are doing the right thing. And it is very true. That school was very racist. Mm -hmm. Plus, we got so many receipts. So I'm just exactly. saying. When I was in ninth grade, there was this rumor that was like made about me apparently i was I, the rumors that i heard about me was like that i was crazily like crazily obsessed and stalking this the guy that you know ended up making a porn and shit there were just like a bunch of rumors based on me being a stalker and they were absolutely not true um that guy was bullying me a lot yeah. and i never understood why because as soon as I've already, I've as soon as I sent my friends to tell him that I had a crush on him, like after him saying that he's not interested, he could have just ended there. But he yeah. kept picking on me. He kept insulting me. He literally was bullying me to the point that yes, um, I did tell the principal. It did take a lot of time for it to like finally be over and the yeah. reason why i'm saying this is because it wasn't truly over because him and someone else she was actually black i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say her name yeah. but she would pick on me and my sister so i just really didn't understand that i'm yeah. like i can't comprehend why you another black person who goes also, through racism is, as well and is all is helping a white guy mm -hmm. that's being mean to me and bullying me and picking on me that was like the worst like few years of my life when he graduated and when like you know as well as the girl that was also making my life a living hell when they all graduated i was so happy yeah because, we were we were really happy because it was that bad like i kid you not and nobody noticed nobody cared even if they cared they cared for a little bit and then it was just dropped they would say that they would say something to him but it ne nothing ever came about it because he kept on bullying me so i was never taken seriously when i was like like that i was like getting bullied it was such a hard time because not even just him but i was also getting picked on from like by a lot of like guys and even some girls that were white and they were like not only bullying me being racist at the time so there was a lot of that going mm -hmm. there was a situation that happened with this um one person this person messaged me on instagram and was harassing me insulting me telling me that i'm so dark that i should go back to africa oh um literally 
saying a bunch of racist comments. When I answered back to that person because I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna stand there and you know let someone disrespect me, you know? And I was aware that that was very wrong. So I would message this person back and say, oh, you are this too, you are that too. Like I would just like insult the person back. I took responsibility at some times when I went too far, but the but only reason didn't. why I did like, I, I was clapping back was because this person was being really racist towards me. Yeah. And when I went, I was called to the principal that one day, one day and they suspended me for it actually. And I thought that was ridiculous because that person got off with no warning, with nothing at all. Yeah. And the principal kept saying, it's because that person is at a different school. Doesn't, Doesn't matter. matter. That person was racist towards me. That person called me a bunch of names. So I don't understand why that person isn't getting punished as well. With everything that we just talked about, and this isn't even the half of it. Yeah. With everything we just talked about, how can anybody think that Beatrice Deloche is a safe environment, a safe school to go to, when half of them teachers and faculty and even the students contributed to the bullying that me and my sister and several other black people suffered at their hand. The amount of times that I would hear the N-word getting oh slurred God. out, some of like those preppy, douche, rich white boys, white boys, and even say, ladies too, even yeah, girls. would say like, oh, but it's in a song, so it shouldn't really matter, right? They would be like, oh, but you say it, so why can't I say it? It was so annoying and there was this one incident that happened. I think I was in ninth or 10th grade and I was actually, it wasn't just me. I was, um, there was other um, black girls also and in the class, in, it was gym class. There was a guy that he was also getting so, he was getting bullied so much. One, because he was gay and two, because he was wearing, wearing makeup to go to school. Again, I'm not gonna talk a lot on, this um on him but and three, three because he was black too he was getting not only getting racist comments bullied a lot like me and my sister we would just stand there appalled and shocked of how bad he would get it and that that's what happened in the gym class um there's this white guy that shouted out out loud and said the n-word to oh him oh my god i and remember that day i remember yeah i remember at the time i was so confused because my friends were telling me like my black friends were telling me like yo winnie like doesn't that like you know and i'm like i don't understand and even that when he got um sent off of the class um he had the audacity to come in front of me and most of like my black friends and say oh i wasn't talking about you you guys know that right at the time obviously they didn't know so i was like oh it's okay as soon as i got educated on racism and shit like that i'm like what the fuck is wrong yeah, with this why school? would you do that what That's is wrong with you honestly the rest of them was mostly like white guys that were picking on us yeah. saying the n-word willy-nilly telling us that we should go back to africa telling that us that oh um, we look without dirty. without we do look dirty we look ugly where nobody could ever like us i remember there was this one white guy that had a crush on me in the ninth grade and a couple of his friends and even him said do you want to go out with him? Do you want to go out with me? And I said, I don't know. And I honestly thought it was a joke. I didn't think during that time I was desirable enough to be liked. I honestly, because I would hear a lot, oh, black girls are ugly. Black girls are this. Black girls are that. That school was so racist. Oh yeah, my God. Yeah, and they would say shit like, why do you like them? Like, you shouldn't be liking them. Like They would make fun of our hair. I mean, a lot of them would grab our hair without our permission. And they would treat us like we're exotic animals from the zoo when we're humans just like you like can i ask you guys this to the white people that are actually watching the video and you know went to school with us why did you think that was okay seriously you knew most of you knew that the word racism you guys knew i mean and yeah half of us were not educated why the fuck did you guys think it was okay to bring us down and basically to treat us like slaves ignorance we were talking about racism a lot in history class and i remember i would always get stares every single oh time they would always stare at me there was another incident that happened that i think it was i was in 10th grade and it was a guy i don't want to dive into too much but he actually spat on me yeah and that was not only it's a hate crime, disrespectful, I was embarrassed at the time, so I literally just like, I was so upset. And 
I I am going to say that I don't know if I provoked him, but no, I know he definitely started it. It was him. Yeah. And then I just kept on insulting him because he was just being very, very disrespectful towards me. And then he just spat on me. So yeah, that was another thing that happened. And that, yeah, I do agree that at that point in time, a lot of people were telling me that he shouldn't have done that and that was wrong. There's this one white guy. Um, yeah, all I'll say is that like, right now we're good like we've made peace with him and he has apologized to us but i remember he literally said your sister deserves more why would you say that dude like i know we're cool but during that time like just in general if somebody said that to someone if if you have ever said that to somebody like you and i are not cool because you know first of all that what that guy did to my sister when he spat on her it's a hate crime it's absolutely a hate crime and the fact that you're going to then say to the victim oh yeah i think you deserve more to be honest yeah honestly that is so disgusting like i'm trying not to cry because it is so sickening dehumanizing appalling that that white boy said that to my sister the amount of times that black people in the school would go to the principal and um they would like complain about something that happened when it was a white person they would not give them a severe punishment like i feel like they would just hide it a lot of times and then when other black folks say something against a white person yeah either we would get expelled or suspended, or suspended. and that guy that spat on me i feel like because of the fact that it was not only just hate crime but very racist the fact that he just got suspended for, for like two weeks. two weeks and then he came back made me so uncomfortable oh my god and the fact that they didn't even ask me if i no was okay one. nobody in the me. class asked her if my sister was okay with how dare you guys how could you guys fail like this why would you guys do that my sister was spat on by that white guy that white ugly ass boy and no one asked her if she was okay except for me and her closest friends hell all of you were witnesses okay so why the fuck would you not ask her if she's okay and how could you not think that something like that was going to affect my sister's life going forward nobody really cared about us which is why i don't care about y'all how much i just have respect for myself my sister and just like this channel and my channel in general yeah I, but i do want to call them out by names but like but trust i said me, we really do are, because they deserve it they but... don't deserve to be hidden because they're racist as fuck but i'm not doing this for them again i'm doing this for myself for yeah. my sister for yeah. my channel for a black for our black community too yeah and this is not like something that we're gonna keep dragging on this is a video that we're making and then we're just not gonna speak about that ugly disgusting ass racist school ever yeah. again these are my experiences and like the things that i wanted to point out is the fact that one we can agree on this choice yeah the fact that they had zero faculty or teachers that were black yeah if you went to beatrice de Loge during our time the priest i'm not gonna name him by name but the priest i do not count him as a teacher yeah again i've mentioned this on my instagram but i feel like he was literally just there to save people and we and were observing from the outside so many white kids would make fun of him so, so much, much. Oh my God. especially when he was in the amphi theater and we had these like masses going on and stuff like that or like these yeah exactly in, like, yeah. yeah um he would get made fun of a lot in mm -hmm. front he was so made fun of for no reason i was just gonna say that like the only thing that me and my sister are going to acknowledge that we did, but that is nothing to compare to racism, is when people would literally gaslight us and try to get a reaction out of us, we would insult them. That's how we would, and that's how we were raised, even by our parents. Like, they told us, like, basically, they didn't educate us on racism at all, yeah. which is their fault. I blame them too. Mm -hmm. But they did tell us that if people are like insulting you just insult them back which mm -hmm. is such bad advice i'm sorry yeah. like i know that's probably how they were raised and shit but obviously in our generation we're not gonna do that we're not yeah. gonna insult them back we're either just gonna call them out for their behavior we want to be the better people unless they say something like a slur or racist yeah or, of course i'm sorry mean. but then my ghetto black ass is gonna come out yeah. okay? <laughs> then that's when yo ooh, ooh. that was just that i wanted to point out the fact that there was literally no teacher that was black yeah. all the substitutes were mostly black and they were either made fun of said race like they were racist slur thrown at them they were never taken seriously mm -hmm. 
compared to, to the, the white, white substitutes that yes sometimes like they wouldn't like the kids wouldn't really listen to them but it wasn't as bad as the black substitutes. oh my god they it's literally every single black substitute that came none of them were treated with the amount of respect that yeah. they honestly deserved and Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. There were some sub some black substitutes that I didn't really vibe with yeah, a yeah. little bit too much. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that they deserve to be treated like that. Like they, mm -hmm. it was so unfair. With all of these experiences, it just it's appalling. It's it's upsetting that black people get treated like this. And obviously, it's not just that school. I'm. Sure it happens all over, like Canada. And yes, it's worse in the United States. Last part of the video is we're gonna be talking about this one specific person who had the most impact in, well, specifically my life and also in my sister's life as well. We're not going to call him out by name, but I have talked about him a lot on my social media. Let's call him wannabe black. That's how I call him. Honestly, I wanted to call him basketball because I oh. feel like, yeah, I wanted to call him basketball. Basketball, it all started in the 11th grade. I believe we're in the 10th grade. Boy basketball, that's that's a good one. Because it's really, I want it to be a, a list, at least a little obvious. Oh! oh! It all started with my twin sister being completely blinded by his stupid ass. I have no idea why I liked him, I'm sorry. I had a crush on him, but now, not even now, just, I've been like, even years before, um after i graduated i've always wondered why i had a crush on that basketball i absolutely believe you when you say that he's the biggest regret sister ended up having a crush on him he found out and of course he didn't say he, honestly he didn't even say that he didn't like winnie and he didn't say that he liked her he just kept like gaslighting her and flirting with her oh my god he would touch my sister a lot too and he would flirt with her so much to get her to like him back because during that time she i think you only liked him for i like, liked him for a short while and then i stopped liking him and he was like trying to kind of like make me to like him again mm -hmm. because i guess he liked that attention mm -hmm. that i was giving him and but that made me like like him less mm -hmm. because it was so annoying that he was trying so hard because I've been in the exact same situation with the guy that was bullying me in ninth grade all the way to fucking 11th grade. He was doing the exact same thing as him. He was trying to make me like him again, which is why he was bullying me. Then he realized that since she stopped liking him and since the first twin liked him, hey, might as well get the other twin to like me too. Yeah. And that's when basketball started to sexually harass me bully me constantly, invalidate me, say racist things about me, always practically, he would stare me from afar, would wait for the perfect moment to get a reaction out of me. I would obviously clap back and I would say, oh, like, inshallah, that's what I would say. Mm -hmm. and, and then like, he would say, oh, I'm an inshallah, I'm an inshallah. So basketball, literally from that moment until the 12th grade, he would not leave me alone. I remember there were times where my sister and some of my friends even would tell him hey like she just doesn't like when you do that you, you should stop and he would say oh it's cool joyce and i are friends she likes it anyway so you say that we're friends but yet you your v vision of friendship is bullying me is harassing me sexually is only gaslighting me whenever you're around surrounded by your white friends okay that was your version of friendship. Even after I even shared some personal stuff with you and I would trust that you didn't tell anybody. But then the next day when I came to school, half of your friends would look at me and be like, ha ha, like that. And I put two and two together and obviously he didn't keep his mouth shut. He told everybody after. And that's when from then people started saying a bunch of rumors about me. Hell, half of these white people were mostly sometimes scared to confront us because I would hear some of them saying, oh, well, I mean, you know they're gonna beat you up if they do that, right? Like, you should be careful. Winnie and Joyce, you don't wanna mess with them. Oh, oh they my God. They would make so many rumors about us, but that people never... would start believing the yeah. rumors. And that's why me and my sister mostly 
had it the worst at Beatrice Delage because nobody ever took the time to actually come to us and ask us if those rumors were true. Mm -hmm. They just immediately assumed the worst because we're black and also because okay, they just course. didn't want to like be rejected by those popular people, which they weren't really popular. I think they were just a bunch of racist, rich, preppy douchebags. Even the girls too. Even the girls too. Like, yeah, the girls and the white guys were that the racist white guys were like this weird anomaly of like frat boys in college for me. Yeah, they thought they were popular so because of their looks and because of their white privilege, but now look at them. Half of them, I, I see their Instagram page, half of them are not, are still not even friends. One of them that ended up apologizing to me that I exposed on my story, told them, yo, it's actually a good thing if you educate your friends and you tell them that racism is a very serious thing. And he was like, yeah, but I mean, I don't talk to them anymore, so it's not really my problem. In my head, I said, okay, whatever. I, I don't really care, honestly. But at least he apologized, so that's good. Going back to basketball, I have talked about a few experiences that, um, you know, that I went through with him. Times where he sexually harassed me. I'm not going to talk about it again because um, I don't want to get emotional for this video again. But all I'll say is that this guy has sexually harassed me a lot. He's slapped my ass. He He's hung, unhooked my bra. He's touched me between my legs. He really, really tried. And I think his goal was literally just to make me unhappy and miserable. And a lot of my friends and even people that would, you know, be in the same class as me, just as basketball was, they would tell me, I think basketball likes you. I think he likes you. And I was like, no, he can't like me. He's just bullying me. He just... This is just our way of friendship. And then they're like, no, Joyce, like this guy might actually like you. I mean, he's only doing this to you. Out of all the, the girls that he could pick on, why is he doing that to you? It's like, I don't know, maybe he just likes it. Well, that's sick. If he likes to bully you, then that's sick. But if he doesn't, then I guess this is just his way to show that he does like you, which... Eh, so if he did, and if you're watching this video, you know that you and I ain't, ain't never gonna happen, right? I will never like you, I never liked you, and yeah, I'm really glad that you're out of Ontario, that's all I'll say. He, he was the worst, yeah. he was the worst. I really did think that we were truly friends. I don't think he saw me as the same type of friendship that I saw it. I think more for him, it was more like a bullying and like, uh, taking over kind of thing like making me feel less of a human being you know that I should not expect him and I to be friends even though he said it so many times oh my god Joyce and I were best friends yeah but we don't really hang out together you've never asked me how I was doing your friendship your type of friendship is insulting me gaslighting me making a bunch of racist jokes so now the joke is on you dude like literally now you're exposed now everybody knows that you're racist We're everybody knows you that everybody knows that you abuse women too and i really do hope that you're gonna get what you deserve we started exposing like the racist people on instagram all i'll say is that some of them actually did take accountability mm. and responsibility for their for their actions which and i respect. did apologize i will mention quickly that there is this one person that tried to shut me down called the call the cops on me or a private investigator i'm not sure but yeah a pi was sent to my um my parents home address and they actually wanted to sue me for defamation and they wanted me to take all my videos down and to stop talking about racism and just oh to stop God. exposing and stuff and honestly this is if this is not clearly a case of a white person calling the cops on a black person for no reason other than exposing or calling you out for, for being, being racist, racist i don't know what else to tell you this school is like the worst bane of my existence that's what i'll say i like, really do hope that they actually changed that there's more black faculty mm -hmm. and honestly i'm not even surprised if nothing changed i mean literally just a controversy happened last year and i wouldn't be surprised school. if there was a next controversy that came out about that school because that school is so fucked up it should be demolished unless they change their ways and everything but if they didn't and it's still the same bullshit, nothing has changed and 
I'll just say that that school does not deserve to be standing seriously. And I feel bad for the black students that go to that school too. We'll post like screenshots of like some of the people that apologized to us that told us that they never had something against us yeah. and they never understood why people were always picking on us, especially Thank the you. white racist ones. The, the, lesson of, the lesson of this video is if you don't took judge the a book time, by its cover. Yeah, if you took the time to get to know us instead of just insinuating and just assuming that we're this, we're that just because of rumors and how we look, get your life together. If you're white and you want to make friends with a black person, you got to get educated instantly. You exactly. cannot, you can't make it about you because it's not just about you anymore. You are choosing to be friends or to date someone outside your race. So you got to get educated for your own sake because especially if you want that person to stay around your life, you got to learn about their culture. You got to learn about their background. You got to learn what to say, what's okay to say. Because like I said, not everybody thinks the same. A lot of people get easily offended by some things because of personal experience. So if you are willing to, you know, learn and to educate yourself, good. Honestly, exactly. that shows that you've changed and you're a good person. But if you're not even willing to learn and you just want to assume the worst out of black people, because it's mm. not just us, it hasn't just happened to us. It happened to a lot of several black people that went to Beatrice Deloche too, that they've told us that, oh, those people that you've exposed, they've done that to me too. Which it is so insane. sickening. I and was like, I was appalled, honestly. I I wanted to end like my last point with this, saying that one, recently I've actually, I don't know if you guys have seen my, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, I've been calling out this one specific person. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to shout him out on my sister's channel. He doesn't deserve to get a shout out. Yeah, but, but I know what you're talking about. Is that just check my Instagram. I've been calling out for a while and he's actually the reason why why I actually like my eyes opened a lot more on racism. Mm. He's treated me like shit. He's really racist, honestly. Yeah, the a most lot racist of, guy I've ever dated. A lot of experiences that we went through after leaving Beatrice de Lodge with an amount of white guys started to put things in perspective to us and made us realize that holy shit. It was speaking to us this entire time and we just didn't know it. And mm -hmm. with that, me and my sister started educating ourselves more. We started even telling the white people that are in our life, listen, if you want to be in our life, if you want to, you know, learn more about our culture, if you want to learn more about what is okay to say, not okay to say to black people or what is okay to do or not okay mm -hmm. to do, that's great. That's like, great. Just educate yourself. Like, yeah. We're open. That's the thing. Like we're open to, you know, being friends with anybody who wants to be friends with exactly. us. But just just know that there are some things that we go through that we're we're both not gonna go through the same struggles mm -hmm. okay especially if you are a white person in a predominantly white country you have yeah. so much privilege and you cannot say that oh but i don't see color i don't think racism exists especially if you're white and you're going to say that yeah like you're trash for saying that you don't see color when i can see color she can see color I can see that I'm black. I can see that that person is white or that person is um, Latina or Latino. Like, I can see, okay? So, for you to say, and oh, I can't, I don't see color, mm -hmm. that means that you are not you open. You don't want to get educated. You are not it. open to get educated. You're really not open to that. And mm -hmm. so, get out of my face. Orleans is such a, a, a bad, oh my God, a yeah. full of rich, preppy douchebags full of hypocrites full of not nice people i'm yeah, so glad that me and my sister Honestly, moved out of orleans we're we're Bye. doing fine i think i just wanted to thank everybody like the people that actually supported us yeah. even the black people mm -hmm. that you know talked to us and told us that winnie and joyce you guys should actually talk about this on your channel thank like, you so much the push and everything the support the amount of support that we've been getting it's amazing is crazy amazing mm -hmm. and like we really really appreciate it so much thank honestly. you so, so much of course a couple of white people couple not a lot that were never ever ever racist to us like yeah. i don't know if you were to other black people but at least to me and my twin sister like they were ne they never were exactly. and again you know who you are i'm not going to call you out so all i'll say is beatrice deloge like this was this is all because of you guys this is all because of you you guys have models and you say that we care about the well-being of our students we care about this we have values but i'm gonna say it your values are trash mm -hmm. your school is trash and all i'll say is i really hope that you guys have changed your ways i hope that there are more black 
uh, faculty as well because it, it would be very much needed, especially if it's only just whites. Like, of course, and especially if there are black people also going there, of course there's going to be racism, and especially if there's not at least black teachers or like black principals or whatever people exactly. that you can come up to and they, they can relate. I really do hope they've changed your ways. Wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. If they didn't, all I'll say is Beatrice Siloge is the worst establishment to exist. So yeah, this video was pretty long. We, yeah. like when we said we were going to, to deep, deep dive, dive, we're going to go from the beginning. We're and, analysts. Oh. Yeah, and now that we know what racism is and shit, like I said, we are not going to tolerate people are that are going to be super disrespectful to us and assume the worst and be racist if you want to be racist get out of this channel so yeah this concludes this video thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed or found this video educational give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are interested for more content that are going to be fun and not as super heavy as this video um also subscribe to my twin sister channel who is also going to have amazing content that are going to come on her channel as well leave your thoughts in the comments i want to know you guys think that school is racist Do you guys think that school should be demolished let us know <laughs> <laughs> and yeah that is it and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye, goodbye.